Now, if you're traveling for work, traveling to go see friends and family, first thing you should do before you do anything else, I do not do it. I will start doing it. The things I've learned from this show. 655. Kiss FM. Let's get to Claire here on the phones. 1 800 520 1027 in Culver City. Claire, how are you? I'm doing all right. Thanks. I was just in Culver City yesterday. Wow, so many great yeah. places to sit outside and have something to eat there. Oh, it's such a great place mm-hmm. for restaurants. Do you have a favorite? Um, No, there are actually a couple French restaurants there that I really like. I saw one called, was it Bistro or Fr- something? I, I drove past that, actually. I saw a bunch of people sitting outside. Yeah. Do you like mussels and pommes frites? No. I love them so much. Yeah. I like to dip my fries in the pommes frites, and my pommes frites in the mussel sauce. Oh, you have to. It's so good. It's like that wine and cream butter sauce. So good. Claire, did you call to talk about food? Wow. This is fantastic. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'd be happy to. <laughs> but you have another issue, I am told by Mark, our producer, who wants me to move on. Yeah, go All ahead, Claire. Right, yeah. what, what, what happened? Slightly less fun. Okay, what's so, up? So, okay, um, I have this coworker who started acting super weird around me, and I wasn't sure why. So I talked to one of our other colleagues about it. Like, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to say something directly to my coworker who was acting weird, so I talked to someone else, and they said, and I know this sounds to me, this sounds so petty, but I, I really want your take. The coworker who was acting salty is apparently bitter because she sees that I watch her TikToks, but I don't like them. If that makes sense, like on TikTok, you can see who watches your videos, but also, you know, that way she can see that I've watched them, but I haven't Didn't liked like them. them. Yeah. And she's this like, I guess she's trying to be an influencer. I, her, her TikToks are pretty successful like she gets a lot of views and a lot of engagement on them so likes are a huge deal to her um but 
now I don't know what to do about it. Because, like, if I confront her to try to make things right, that seems almost kind of over the top. But maybe I could, like, fix my TikTok settings so she can't see that I'm watching her videos. Or I mean, should I just ignore the situation? This is an or? issue. And, I, like, I get it. Like, it is an issue. And the fact that it is is so petty to me. Yeah. But why don't you just like her TikToks then? She doesn't like them. Well, why not? Why not? I, I just don't like, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I don't even think about it. I don't typically like videos. I just, you know, I watch them and then I move on. I'm I, with I, Claire. I never, I never really double tap before. either. I kind of oh, just like. so mean. I sometimes do, but I forget. It's not mean. It's like she has a life. Well, okay. She's, she's watching them, so she's already right. Is there anything them. that you did watch that struck you as entertaining that your coworker posted on TikTok? Yeah, occasionally, sure. But, I mean, I, I guess I just follow the same kind of procedure with her page that i do for any other page which is i just i'm like oh haha you know that was like cute or funny or informative or whatever and then i just move on i've never i guess i've never really thought about how it might affect the person who posts the content whether i like their videos or not well i guess there's two ways to deal with this one who cares what she thinks about you liking the videos or not all right and just move on because it is kind of petty or two just start liking the videos whether you like them or not and move on not have to hear from her again I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that seems kind of arbitrary to me, but also I work with this person, so I don't want things to be weird. Yeah. And like well, every eighth one. Yeah, maybe just want to like here <laughs> oh or there, God. even if you don't mean it, to keep the peace and not create any sort of awkwardness. If it means but something again, to your coworker and you don't care, why wouldn't you do it? Because it's not her truth. I, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, oh I just, gosh, I don't know. I've never, like I've never thought about it before. I don't yeah, like feeling pressured weird. into it just so that this one girl won't be mad at me, you know? Like, do you know what I mean? It's, and so, then it's not right, a real here, life. Here's the, the question. Girl. Would you rather feel not pressured and just move on and potentially create a little awkwardness at work or forget about the fact that you don't care and you're a little pressured into it, liking them, but have no awkwardness at work? Which one's better for you? I mean, obviously, I'd prefer not to have awkwardness at work. And if it just takes, you know, doing a little click, click here and there, I guess that's something I could look into. Yeah, I mean, I don't like this stuff. It's just in tiny posts all the time either, but I do it to keep the peace. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Claire, thank you. Good luck. I think we have a path there. So, but also, like, let's examine this coworker who cares so much about whether or not Claire's liking her TikTok. Totally. Right? G-O-L. G-A-L. Not. Huh? GL. GL. Right? I think. I'm not good at those. Get a life. I don't even know if LOLs laugh out loud or lots of love. I don't think it's ever lots, lots of love. love. <laughs> Never. How do y'all know? Oh, gosh. You're on air with Ryan Seacrest on 102.7 Kiss FM. Plug in. Our iHeartRadio Music Festival. Presented by Capital One. Coming back to Las Vegas. Two nights. September 20th and 21st. On one stage. Streaming live only on Hulu. A weekend full of superstar performances. Never seen before collaboration. At once in a lifetime artist moments you'll have to see to believe. Tickets are on sale now at AXS.com. Don't miss. I don't Big Sean. Camila Cabello, Doja Cat, Gwen Stefani, Hosier, Keith Urban, New Kids on the Block, Paramore, Shibuzi, The Black Crows, Thomas Rhett, Victoria Monet, and more. Don't miss your chance to get tickets to our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Festival. Presented by Capital One. Right now. Before they sell out. At AXS.com. That's AXS.com.
car, truck, or motorcycle accident, call the attorneys at Sweet James. 1-800-9-MILLION. That's 1-800-900-0000. Our iHeartRadio Music Festival. Presented by Capital One. Coming back to Las Vegas. Two nights. September 20th and 21st. On one stage. Streaming live only on Hulu. A weekend full of superstar performances. Never seen before collaboration. At once in a lifetime artist moments. You'll have to see to believe. Tickets are on sale now at AXS.com. Don't miss. Big Sean. Camila Cabello. Doja Cat. Gwen Stefani. Hosier. Keith Urban. New Kids on the Block. Paramore. Shabuzi. The Black Crows. Thomas Red. Victoria Monet. And more. Don't miss your chance to get tickets to our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Festival. Presented by Capital One. Right now. Before they sell out. At AXS.com. That's AXS.com. Fire up the grill and enjoy summer savings at Grocery Outlet. Right now, get Thomas Farms 93% lean grass-fed ground beef in the one-pound pack for just $4.99. That's a savings of up to 50% off traditional grocery store prices. Need chips to go with your burgers? Then buy two bags of Frito-Lay party-sized chips and get a third free. That's only $3.53 a bag with the purchase of three. These deals are available from June 26th to July 7th, only at Grocery Outlet. Grocery Outlet, bargain market. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. FM Freeway Update. Here's KTLA's Ginger Chan. So let's just say you're coming out of East LA. You want to head into downtown 101 North at Cesar Chavez or right before you get to the 10. I guess this traffic sign is partially hanging over the right lane and maybe more so at the exit. That is a really busy spot. To, so to have something like that happen is not a good thing. Okay, so they may have to stop lanes, hopefully take care of it without too much of a delay. 405 North, right at about Getty Center Drive. So that's where they're calling for this stall. Looks like the stall is still sitting in the right lane. Is it a big deal heading north? Maybe not until they block lanes. But the southbound side, there was something earlier that has since cleared, and that's already kind of a slow and jammed up solid drive. 10 westbound side, we're going to put this one right at about Redlands Boulevard, where they are saying there's some kind of debris that came off of a vehicle. Some cars already have damage to their cars, and so you got to be careful. Again, that's the 10 westbound side, right? At about Redlands Boulevard, this report is brought to you by Scandinavian Designs. Don't miss Fourth of July savings at Scandinavian Designs. Save up to sixty percent on select Nordic inspired furniture. Decor shop one of their five and decor shop one of their five Los Angeles locations, including their new Ontario showroom or online ScandinaviansDesigns dot com. I'm Ginger Chan. You're on air with Ryan Seacrest, one of two point seven Kiss FM. Thank you, Ginger. Beautiful sunshine. It's gonna be beautiful today. If you can get to the beaches, that's where it's at. Santa Monica, a high of 75 today. Burbank, a high of 86. And right now, it's 65 in Hollywood. 102.7 KISS FM. You can listen on the iHeartRadio app. Be sure you follow us. Just hit the follow button on the iHeartRadio app. I didn't think you'd understand me. How could you ever even try? I don't want to tiptoe, but I don't want to hide But I don't want to feed this monstrous fire Just want to let this story die And I'll be alright We can't be friends, but I thought you just you cling to your papers and pens Wait until you like me again Wait for your love My love, I'll wait for your love Me and my truth, we sit in silence mm-hmm. Baby girl, it's just me I don't wanna argue, but I don't wanna fight My tongue, yeah, I think I'd rather die You got me misunderstood, but at least I look this good We can't 
just pretend you cling to your papers and pens. Wait until you like me again. Wait for your love. One hundred two point seven, Kiss FM. Uh, Melissa in Long Beach, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. So you're calling about your boss. Your boss is DMing somebody. Yeah, yeah. What's, ha- what's happened? Okay, so I work for this guy. I'm I'm not his like personal assistant, but I do a lot for him and some of the other bosses at my company. Like I handle social media and you know whatever else they need. Um. And so I've gotten to know him really well, and I've gotten to know his girlfriend really well. We don't hang out or anything, but, like, we text each other, you know, like, follow each other. She's really cool. Um, anyway, I was working on socials, and I noticed that he is using the company's business account to DM his ex. Mm. And I knew her, too, but not as well. I didn't read that much of it because, like, he seemed to be crossing a line. The messages just looked really flirty. And my question is, like, do I tell his girlfriend what's going on? Do I keep my mouth shut? Oh, and if man. I tell her, I mean, I don't even know how to do it, you know? Well, I mean, if you... So one thing you could do is look the other way. Mm-hmm. One thing you could do is think about if you do tell her how it could possibly go. Like, how's it going to... If you do tell her, if you feel like you should... How's that going to go then with your job? And where do you feel like your priority is? Is it in, you know, being a good almost friend to his girlfriend to let her know? Or do you want that? I mean, I don't know if you'd lose your job, but it would probably create some tension. I say you yeah, stay out of it. Yeah, it would definitely. Susie thinks just stay uh, out of it. It's not your lane. Don't, not... don't look. It's complicated yeah. when you, right? Yeah, I'm really struggling with it. Well, you definitely like, can't it, do it as yourself. What do you like? An anonymous no, it note? Be anonymous. No, it couldn't be anonymous because, like, the thing is, is I am the, one of the only other people who has access to the company um. Instagram. So, like, it would be obvious it was me, you know? I mean, my view is this usually rears its head in a little bit of time anyway. So maybe you just take a beat and let this play out for a second. Yeah. In hopes that, oh, it helps okay. that karma steps in and this thing rears its head the natural way versus you getting in the middle of it because it is such a, it's a tricky thing because like I said, doing the right thing might be to tell, but then that might compromise your yeah. work a little bit. I think so too. So I don't know that there's a perfect solution here, Melissa. Oh, man. I know. I feel the same. I just, I'm so struggling with it. I really well, like working for this company. He's a great boss. He's a boss. It's just like, I feel like, you know, like girl code or like, I feel like a bad person knowing But it's this. also I'm professional saying. versus personal. Like it's, that's personal, right? Even though I know he's on his, yeah. com- and he's on the company platform. All right, let's just go around the room. Tanya, what would you do? I would tell her. What about your job? Oh, I'd, I'd get to that later. Sisney, what would you do? I stay out of it. You don't know this other person. You don't know that you don't. You're gonna get in the middle of all of this mess. You don't know Michaela. how it ended beforehand. No. What would you do? I feel like I'd have to mention it. Jen, what would you do? I would have to mention it. Melissa, don't worry. There's about 15 other people here. Uh, Ruby, what would you do? I feel like if I was close to his current girlfriend, I would mention it. And if looks I, like, yeah, looks like we have a consensus here. Uh, Tubbs, what would you do? <laughs> He's got to turn his mic on. Hold on, <laughs> Melissa. He wasn't as camera ready as everybody else. <laughs> Put on his lip gloss. <laughs> I would stay out of it. Oof. 
Melissa, this is no help at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Do you know, the good person would tell her. And the, the good smart, person and the would tell her. But the smart not. person would stay out of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck. Oh, it's <laughs> so hard. Yeah. Well, thank you. okay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, thanks, and hung up. You guys suck. <laughs> thanks a lot, you guys. Oh. I guess it's different if she knows the girlfriend. I don't like scenarios things. like that because I, I that's like there's no solution there. There is, if she knows the current girlfriend, then that changes things for me. But if I don't know them, then I'm just like I don't know you guys. Y'all are messy. Okay. Well, Keep everybody your, else in the back room would tell her. Keep your mess over there. We're on air with Ryan Seacrest on 102.7 Kiss FM. The free iHeartRadio app has thousands of playlists waiting for you right now, including summer-themed playlists for everyone. Just open the free iHeart app and search Songs of Summer. Free never sounded so good. Get ready for iHeartRadio Live with Ray. Hi, I'm Ray. An interview and performance in celebration of her song, Genesis. iHeartRadio Live with Ray. Watch in VR only in Meta Horizon Worlds right now.
Ryan Seacrest. On 102.7 KISS FM. Hotel? Yes. Yeah, it happens. All right. So here's the first thing. And these morning hacks could be about anything. Every day, signature morning hack this time could be about anything, but something that you could take with you all day and remember and share it. Any ideas also to tell people? Um, this is the first thing you should do when you get into the hotel room. They say, flush the toilet. Oh, I want to so, know why. <laughs> well, flush the toilet. They, since no one's been in the room for a while, the toilet bowl is a perfect hiding spot for spiders and insects. Now, you don't want to be seated and have one of those, you know, show themselves. Um, that Whoa. can cause, that can cause a surprise. Ew. That is so terrifying. When you get in and you throw your toiletries down or your stuff in the bathroom, just walk over. And flush the toilet. I mean, that's not what I do first ever. But why do do? stop there? I lice all well, the remote. You lice all the remote? Mm-hmm. Is, do you stop there? Yeah. It's like then lice all everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I just do the remote. The doorknobs. <laughs> what about? How about the doorknobs? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Just How about the, the countertop? <laughs> How about the sheets and the throw pillow? No, yes. just the remote. Oy, oy, oy. I have a quote for you guys. Please. Be weird. Be random. Be who you are. Because you never know who would love the person you hide. Oh, that's so sad. And that is true. Be yourself. Yeah, be random. Random. Actually, let's be random today. Let's be weird. Let's be fun. Yeah. 
Let's be random and weird. Let's be us. Let's be beautiful. Roses this morning, 740. Right now, the headlines, Sissini. Kiss FM headlines with Sissini. Well, the first presidential debate between President Joe Biden and former President Trump is tonight at 6. It's hosted by CNN, but it'll pretty much be on every network and streaming on Max. The L.A. Metro Board of Directors is considering creating its own police force amid an increase in violent crimes across the transit system. In the NBA draft last night, the Lakers chose Dalton Connect out of Tennessee with the 17th pick. The Clippers didn't have a first-round pick, having traded it to Oklahoma City five years ago. And Mexico fell to Venezuela 1-0 to zero yesterday in the group stage of Copa America at SoFi Stadium. Now, a look at traffic with KTLA's Ginger Chan. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. Let's take you over to look at that drive throughout the Inland Empire, 15 North at Sierra Avenue. So the semi ended up stalling out. What a bummer. So because of that, the left lane they're saying is taken up. Is it a big deal? It's just a little touch and go here. But really, hopefully they'll be able to figure out a way to clear it and get it out of your way. We'll take you in towards South Orange County, where it's not bad, heading south. But northbound side of Christianitas Road is where they're calling for a stall that's in the left lane. Another situation where, depending on whether or not they need to get that heavy-duty tow unit to the scene to clear it, it could be a factor. 60 West at about Hacienda Boulevard, it's nice to be able to report as you move through areas of Hacienda Heights that this crash is now all over to the right shoulder. Still kind of busy, 170 South at Burbank Boulevard, the metal bucket that's been popping in and out of the left lane. This report is brought to you by Scandinavian Designs. Don't miss Fourth of July savings at Scandinavian Designs. Save up to 60% on select Nordic-inspired furniture and decor. Shop one of their five Los Angeles locations, including their Ontario showroom or online, ScandinavianDesigns.com. I'm Ginger Chan. You're on air with Ryan Seacrest. I want a 2.7. Kiss FM. Thank you, Ginger. It's going to be a beautiful, hot 
summer day. Burbank, a high of 84. Gorgeous along the coast as well. Long Beach, a high of 79. And right now it's 65 in Hollywood. KISFM, Los Angeles. Thanks for making On Air with Ryan Seacrest, LA's number one most listened to morning show again. 102.7. Seven Kiss FM and Sissini. Yes. What do you have coming up about our dogs? Well, what if I were to tell you that there's a way for your dog to live longer? Oh, I'm in. I need that right now for uh, Georgia. Uh, that's what no, I. No, your timing's right. That's what I thought you would say. What does that mean? But what does there's. That mean? Yeah. Your timing's right. Well, Georgia's going to be 11. Oh. So there's more to the story. Uh, the, you got me a bag, a farmer's market bag with Georgia on the. I that's know. Georgia. I know that's Georgia. So didn't you see the picture? She's eleven, or about to be. What, yeah. yeah. What does Why? that mean? I get it. Dakota's fifteen. Right. So I'd like to know about longevity for canines. Well, this is I interesting. I believe Georgia's eleven. I remember when you got her. Mm-hmm. Were you here? Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Okay, coming up next, we'll get into it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen.
Number one. Yeah. 